what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about halloween kills and the news that came out a couple days ago i see about it being a day and date release no longer just going straight to theaters it's going to theaters and peacock simultaneously on the same date october 15th now for those of you who are already excited about this film going back to last year i've seen some people talk about well why did we wait a whole year for this if it's just going to be released on streaming anyway now if i'm not mistaken this whole Peacock deal was a work in progress. This wasn't something they had lined up last year. If I'm if I'm mistaken, let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that's why we didn't get the movie last year. Also, this was still a very fluid situation that we were dealing with. It's still much very fluid and I don't I don't recall last year being the the year of a lot of day and date releases. I feel like more of that happened this year, honestly. So the whole day and date release thing for those of you who are already looking forward to seeing it in theaters i know you're going to go see it in theaters still this won't matter to you maybe it will if you were someone who was only going to go to see it in theaters because you felt like you had no other option and you didn't you didn't mind going to see it in theaters but if you're someone who would prefer to stay at home maybe it's more convenient for you maybe it saves you more money i don't blame you for staying at home and watching it and for the whole people talking about they're going to lose money they already know they're going to lose money if we're being honest anytime you do this this is something that was a work in progress you already know you're going to lose money but what you're doing is you're weighing the pros and cons and maybe maybe in their heads they're just look they're considering all the other ways they're going to get money still on for this film at the end of the day this film should still relatively perform well at the box office anything less than 10 million dollars for opening weekend would shock me anything above 50 million would also shock me i'm expecting it to land anywhere from 20 to 30 million honestly for an opening weekend which wouldn't be bad but you know at the same time i've also seen people say that well what if this doesn't perform well they're going to get halloween in shut down that's not going to get shut down because again if i'm not mistaken the only reason these two sequels were greenlit to begin with was because of how well the first movie had done which in and of itself that over exceeded expectations that did numbers that have never been seen before for an opening weekend at all in its franchise now i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that that movie performed like entirely better than any of the other entries in the franchise for an opening weekend had it been released during labor day weekend it would have replaced rob zombie's halloween now again i might be mistaken but you know this whole day and date release situation this doesn't ruin my plans of going to see it in theaters i very much would prefer to see this movie on a big screen with other people around me and then i'll go right back home and i'll watch it again on peacock so knowing it's coming out on peacock if the movie is something that is something that i thoroughly enjoy something that i end up liking a lot uh knowing that it's on peacock would just be even better for me because then what i'll do is i'll go right home after watching it and i'll just turn it on again i won't hesitate to <laughs> not turn it on again I'll, I'll i'll leave the theater and i'll go see it right again on peacock the only issue for me though is i'm actually going to be seeing the film on october 12th i believe so i'd have to wait a little couple of more days to go see it again in theaters and then i'll go see it, see it on peacock when i get home that's what my current plans are for halloween kills the day and date release announcement came out again a couple days ago seeing some people that were not too pleased with it and I get it. I get it. You you would prefer these movies be released in theaters and seen on the big screen as they should be. I agree. Uh, major releases should be seen on the big screen first. That's my opinion. However, again, keep in mind, we're living in a very fluid situation right now. Still very much fluid. We're all still trying to figure out at what point in time are we going to just consider whatever this is that we're living in the new normal and we'll just have to deal with these day and date releases because at the end of the day halloween ends it's not going to be shut down if this movie doesn't perform well at the box office because the only reason again how i don't see it happening anyway but halloween ends in and of itself that movie was only announced because of the success from halloween 2018 that movie isn't reliant on this one from what we should be thinking about it logically i'll just say the fact that the two movies were announced because of the success of the first movie that means that if this one doesn't perform well that holds no bearing on halloween ends being shut down honestly only because of the fact that they're already in the pre-production stages they already have a date to start shooting in january too much is just on the line already and set in stone for you to then turn around and say oh yeah i'm not I'm, we're not going to do this movie of course they could pull a spider-man 4 but i <laughs> i don't see that happening 
Halloween Kills being released day and date on October 15th. Some of you like it, some of you don't. Me personally, I don't see this as being a detriment to any anything as it relates to us going forward. I'm very much excited to see this film. Can't wait to see how I perceive it, what my thoughts are on it. Can't wait to see if what these early reactions were mentioning about of course characters being underdeveloped not shocking at all when you have a group of characters sharing sharing a scene and someone not feeling like a focus of course you'll have some characters who feel underwhelming and i i will i'm willing to bet that you'll have a lot of characters such as like tommy doyle and lindsey wallace you know you'll you'll you won't be giving much reason to care for their demise some people could argue that you have reason to care about them because they've been in the other movies but keep in mind lindsey and tommy Lindsay, for instance, she, unless you want to count Halloween 4, because a lot of people say the Lindsay in Halloween 4 is Lindsay from the original Halloween. Lindsay and Tommy, they haven't been seen in over 40 years. If if you're wanting to just pay attention to the fact that this is, again, this one singular timeline of movies that only consists now of Halloween 2018, Halloween 1978, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. So we have no real connections to these characters. So you're just going to bring them in. For Halloween kills after we haven't seen them since the original we probably won't learn too much about them and then they just end up dying potentially which is where I can see people having that argument that they are underdeveloped and you don't care about their deaths now for us diehard Halloween fans I get where you're coming from you'll still care about their deaths because you're associating all these different timeline variations that you've seen of Tommy Doyle with this current Tommy Doyle but keep in mind these aren't the same Tommy Doyles. They're, they're not the same Tommy Doyles. Uh, so it's just very important to remember that. I could see the characters being underdeveloped. And I could see that being a gripe that I have with the movie. Not something that I could, let, let's say, just completely trash the movie for. Because you got to have all these other qualities considered. The score, the, the direction, the acting. Uh, the other character progressions like the Strolls. I'm pretty sure Allison will have a huge arc in this film, I would hope. Uh, the progression of Karen as a character. But let me know what you guys think about the day and date release down in the comment section below. What are you going to be doing as it relates to Halloween Kills? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.